I've been trying to find an easy way to quickly cook steaks and I think I found it. So this is a portable outdoor broiler purchased from Amazon. Uses a standard uh, propane tank. And it's got a infrared 1500 degree broiler um, and then adjustable shelves there. So getting it lit is super easy. Just turn the gas on here. So first thing we have to do is light the pilot light. For that, hold it down for eight seconds. Let it up. We can verify that the pilot light is lit. It is. And then at this point, we can turn it on. Now in about five minutes, this will be 1500 degrees and we'll be ready to sear our steak. So we're using a grass-fed ribeye. This one is from a local farm and I just have it seasoned with sea salt. These ribeyes are perfect for this type of grill. I'm gonna do about 90 seconds on each side and then finish it to temp by dropping it down. You can already see that this guy is heated up. All right, we'll be back in about five minutes when this thing is to temperature and we'll put it in there to sear it. All right, this is good and hot. I'm gonna get that first sear on the top there. Do this for about 60 seconds and then flip it. Actually dropped it down to the second grate just because this particular steak is a little bit thicker. All right, we're 90 seconds in and I just gave that a flip. And I'm gonna sear the other side for 90 seconds. Then we're gonna put our temperature probe in, drop it down to the middle section there. And then we're gonna turn our heat down as well to low, just to kind of bring that up to temperature. But it's putting a good sear on there. All right. 90 seconds on each side are done. I've dropped it to the lowest setting here and I've turned down the temperature to low. I've got my temperature probe in there and I've got it set to 135 degrees. Nice rare middle and we'll let it rest for five minutes after that. I still need to play around with the lowest or second lowest setting for this part of the reverse sear. We'll be back when this gets to temperature. All right, we're coming right up to 135. So it's time to take this guy out and let it rest. So that's looking pretty good. Nice crust on there, about eight minutes total to cook. I still need to play around a little bit, but this guy wants some too. <laughs> it's a good looking steak. I'm gonna let this rest for another three minutes or so and then we'll cut it in and we'll see how it tastes. All right, we just cut this up. It looks fantastic. Nice way to cook a steak pretty quick and uh, pretty solid, quick, easy, and delicious grass-fed ribeye.